everybody, I'm back here with Rolo. Rolo, guess what? You and I are going to be looking at the birth of Jesus this week. Doesn't that sound like fun? He's excited and so am I. Let's bring our map up and look and see where we are. At the time of Jesus, Israel has been divided up into different areas. Up here at the top, you have Galilee, where you find the city of Nazareth, where Jesus was raised. In here in the middle is Samaria, and we're going to visit Samaria at one point in our lesson. And down here is Judea, where we have Jerusalem and Bethlehem. To start our lesson, I'm going to introduce you to a young girl by the name of Mary. One day, Mary was visited by the angel Gabriel, and Gabriel said, Greetings, you who are favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was troubled, and she said, Who are you? The angel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will have a baby. He will be God's only son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be the king of both heaven and earth. Mary said, my soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God. Then the angel visits Joseph, who is the man that Mary is engaged to. The angel said to Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because the child she is carrying is from the Holy Spirit. She will have a boy, and you will name him Jesus. He will be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And now let's look at the birth of Jesus Christ. Hi, Sally Snoops. I'm here in the city of Bethlehem. Caesar Augustus has called for a census of the entire Roman world. Everybody has to go to their ancestral home to be registered. I come here to Bethlehem and it's swarming with people. Let's see if we can meet some of the guests here in Bethlehem. Hi, I found these travelers. Can you tell me what your name is? Hi, my name is Joseph. This is my wife, Mary. And where do you come from? We come from Nazareth and, Gal and Galilee. We've been traveling for 75 miles on this donkey here, and my wife is pregnant, and we're very tired. Let's, uh, I think I see an inn over there. We should go and check in and see if there's a room for my, my tired wife. Okay. All right, let's go. Yes, my son. Hello, we're looking for a room in your inn. Is there anything available? I have no rooms in the inn. Is there anything? Yes, I do have a spot in the stable. Oh, great. My pregnant wife is about to deliver our baby anytime. Could we? I will show you to it. Thank you very much. I heard there's some strange things going on with some shepherds out in the field. Let's go find them. Look, we found the sheep. The shepherds can't be far. What's going on here tonight? There are strange things going on. Yes, like we, things we've never experienced before. We can't explain it, but something very important is about to happen here. Look, there's angels. some angels. Angels. Greeting shepherds, do not be afraid, for I come with good news for the nations. For today, in Bethlehem, the Messiah, the Lord has been born. This is how you will find him. You will find him as a baby, wrapped in cloth, in a manger. Hark, the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild. God and sinners reconcile. Let us go and see this thing the angels and the Lord have told us about. Oh, come let us adore him. Isn't that 
a great lesson, but you know, that's not the end of the story. There were three magi from the east, those are wise men, and they followed a star all the way to Jerusalem. They were headed for Bethlehem because they had heard that the king of the Jews was going to be born in Bethlehem. They stopped off in Jerusalem and they talked to King Herod and they told them what they had learned. But Herod was an evil man, and he said to them slyly, Hey, why don't you come back here after you found the baby and let me know where he is so I can go and worship him too. Actually, all he wanted to do was get rid of the baby Jesus. So the wise men went to Bethlehem, and sure enough, they found the baby Jesus, and they brought him gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh. An angel of the Lord came to him at night and told them, go back a different way. Don't go tell Herod what you found. An angel of the Lord also came to Joseph and said, Joseph, you've got to get your family out of here because Herod is after the baby Jesus. So the angel tells him, take the baby down to Egypt and live there for a while. So that's what he does. He goes to Egypt with his wife and with his baby. And then after a couple of years, Herod dies and Joseph takes his family back into Galilee, into the city of Nazareth, and that's where Jesus grows up. I'm so glad that we could have this lesson. Let's look at our memory verse. This is from the book of Isaiah, which is in the Old Testament. And this is a verse that tells about who Jesus is, written hundreds of years before he was even born. It says, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9-6. Thanks, kids. Be with us next week. I'll see you then. Bye.